Duct tape may be able to mend everything but a broken heart, but it can't call you in the middle of the night to report an air leak. However, an IoT solution can. My name is Ryan Kelly. I'm a manufacturing and supply chain technologist for AMT. My job is to get tech into industry faster. Today, we're solving manufacturing challenges with bite-sized solutions. Give us 10 minutes and we'll give you a smarter shop. We're here in Boston at the Autodesk Technology Center where the team is using technology to explore solutions to common shop problems. To talk us through the case for a digitally connected shop air, I'm joined by Adam Aller. Senior Workshop Manager here at the Autodesk Technology Center. Hey, Adam. Ryan. How are you? Good to see you. you as well. So, tell us what we're looking at here. Well, Shop Air is a foundational utility in just about any shop in industry. And at the Technology Center, we use it heavily. We have 11 workshops under one roof and about 85 pieces of equipment that leverage compressed air. We also have reels that drop from our ceiling, and we have drops on all of our columns, and we even use pneumatics to control our robots. That's a lot of air. So we're here to talk about a solution, but I'm guessing that there was a problem that kicked this whole thing off. There was a problem. I got a call late night from one of our shop users that an end fitting blew off one of our hose reels and the hose was whipping around inside the shop. How long was that going on? Probably about two hours before we got the call. And if we didn't get that call, it would have been running to the next morning when we came in. The problem was, danger is one piece, but there's also the compressor running very hard to keep up with the demand of the hose. So yeah, the, the, the safety issue with the hose whipping around. You had an energy issue with the compressor running all night, yep. and I'm sure you had some unexpected downtime the next you day bet. as you repaired it. Yep. Well, I'd be really interested to see how you solve this problem. Well, let's head over to the compressor room and I'll show you. Well, Adam, there's a lot of gear in here. What are we looking at? Well, Ryan, this is the MEP room for the technology centers. In here, we have two 40 horsepower screw compressors. We have a triplex vacuum system for the entire shop, and we have a vacuum sy system dedicated just for our composite shop. Wow. So. Let's talk through the solution that you guys implemented. Well, to do that, I'm gonna introduce you to Adam Day, who is responsible for it. Hey, Adam. How's it going, guys? Hey, Adam. So we start off with our pressure transducer here. This actually reads the pressure of the system. Then we move over here to our current sensors, which are inside the compressors. That'll tell us whether they, when they're on and off. Both of those sensors send information over here. We have a fidget tub and we have an edge device. And then the last piece of our system is our solenoid actuated cutoff valve. This actually shuts off the air from the rest of the system. Interesting. So with, with this tank, with this pressure sensor, you're just trying to get a reading of the overall pressure in the unit. Yep. And then over here on the compressor, you're using the current sensor uh, to basically know when the system is on or when it's off, if it's behaving as it should. That's correct. That stuff is getting relayed to the edge device over there, sent to the internet. And in case there is some kind of emergency, you have the ability to shut the system off remotely. Exactly. All right, sounds pretty good. So how'd you figure this out? Do you have an electronics background? I actually don't have an IoT background. Um, one of the benefits of using the Fidget system was that they have great learning resources. It was originally developed for education. Um, information about what types of center, sensors you'd want to use and how to implement them. Cool, and now since you have this system installed, are you learning anything new about the way this is all operating that you didn't know before? Yeah, definitely. We actually found out that one of our compressors was not running on its schedule, and so we've actually had to switch the scheduling for the compressors. So interesting. Well, thanks so much for sharing it with us. Sure. Well, Adam, here we are looking at the components of the system that we looked at downstairs, and you know, from this perspective, it looks pretty simple, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You know, four basic components that do the monitoring for air pressure as well as current. This is the current sensor here. You don't even have to cut the wire to put it on, it just clamps over the wire. And then you have the pressure transducer and then the hub to pull all that data in and get it out to the internet. This particular unit was used for the solenoid cutoff valve to electronically control it. So this is a, would connect to the internet and allows you to uh, activate that shutoff in case there's some sort of emergency. Correct. Yeah, and here's the, the app that the um, wireless unit is sending the information to. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's got, got everything we need right there. It's got the pressure, it's got the, the run time, it tells us when the compressor is running or not running, and then we can emergency stop right from that app. Yeah, see the e-stop and the ability to email the shop staff. And so recap for us again, now what were you able to gain? Well, you know, for us, we can step back to the original problem, and that was the hose failure. Fortunately, someone was here to get that call to us late at night. And then we had to drive in an hour to shut the valve off. By having this system monitoring it remotely, we'll be able to get an email when it immediately happens. And then we can remotely shut it off in a matter of minutes. 
Well, actually, you might be able to avoid this thing altogether, right? Because now you've got the information to be able to perform more routine maintenance. Positively, I mean, the fact that we have monitoring of the runtime of the compressor allows us to know the total hours, and then we can schedule our maintenance accordingly. So with this successful implementation under their belt, how does your team feel now about implementing uh, additional IoT solutions? Well, the team feels pretty empowered by the success they have with this particular installation. So now we're looking at other analog processes in the shop that we can digitize. That's fantastic. Well, there you have it. You could address air leaks with this, or you could go digital with this simple solution. That's how this smarter shop clamped down on compressor leaks. Thanks for taking the time to connect with tech. We'll see you next time.